Are reprint baseball cards worth anything? While reprint baseball cards may hold some nostalgic value for collectors, in most cases they have very little monetary worth compared to original vintage cards. Reprints are essentially reproductions of vintage cards that were printed years or even decades after the original cards were released. The main factor that hurts the value of reprint cards is a lack of scarcity. Original vintage cards printed in the 1950s 1980s have value mainly due to how rare they are today, with many millions lost or destroyed over the decades. Reprints are essentially mass-produced recreations that don't capture any of that original scarcity. About the only reprints that may have a small amount of value to the right collector would be ones resembling the rarest of the rare vintage cards, such as the infamous 1909-11 T206 Honest Wagner, considered the holy grail card worth over $1 million. Even in that case though, a reprint Wagner would sell for hundreds rather than hundreds of thousands due to not being the original. For common players and less valuable cards from the vintage era, a reprint holds almost no value outside of a few dollars at most to the right collector. Most serious card collectors see reprints as having no collecting significance whatsoever and thus no real monetary worth. They are viewed more as novelty memorabilia for fans rather than legitimate collectibles. There are some exceptions though. Very early reprints from the 1970s and 80s that were produced in smaller print runs before the heyday of mass-produced reprints may carry a small premium over a modern reprint. But in general, reprints are essentially just recreations produced solely for recreational use and nostalgia rather than investment potential. Some other factors that suppress reprint values include poor quality paper and printing that don't match the materials used in the original issues. Also, modern reproductions lack the patented and condition issues that can add value layers to vintage collectibles. Unless a reprint card portrays significant historical value or tells an interesting story, there is little serious collectors will pay for a reprint outside of a few dollars at flea markets. While reprint cards hold emotional value for many, their near complete lack of scarcity means they will almost never escalate greatly in price like original vintage issues. Unless you find an extremely early reprint of a rare card predating the boom in mass reprints, there is little money to be made investing in reprints long term. They are more for fun recollection rather than serious collection value. While reprint baseball cards can be a fun way for fans and newcomers to relive baseball memories, serious collectors put very little to no monetary worth in reprints versus scarce original vintage issues. Their mass-produced recreations will almost never develop significant financial value over time like the real McCoys of the 1950s-1980s era.